different goods at the new Benin market in Benin today, the capital of Edo State, under the umbrella of the Traders' Welfare Union of Nigeria, protesting against the alleged harassment of their members by government officials for allegedly displaying their goods on the roads and walkways. Marching through various streets, the traders say they are in full support of the government's decision to sanitize the state, but that should be done with their welfare, given careful consideration. If you don't have uh, money that is up to 300,000, where do you expect them to get that money so they can go to the inside market? So let them give us those sets, international market to us, we can sell anywhere, provided we pay our revenue. We are on the road. It's not that we like shedding on the road, but at least it will open a market for us for, for us to to sell. But it's like you're giving you, you you want us to leave the walkway, and you didn't make another provision for us. It's not good. The president of the Traders Welfare Union of Nigeria, Mr. Lucky Rupe, speaks to journalists during the march. He says the solution to the menace of street trading lies in the building of an international market in Benin City. Street trading is an embarrassment of development. Yes. We have all over 25,000 traders selling on the road today. What we need today, a Dust State International Market. What we need? After almost an hour of trekking, the protesters finally arrived at their destination, the Edo State Government House. They wait for hours outside the gate, but no government official appears for the group to share their concerns with. The body addresses the media before departing the venue. We have been here for more than two hours and it's not around. So we'll go back to do our business. Since 1999, they have been giving us letter, giving us letter. It's not letter that will solve the problem. They should invite the traders themselves and discuss their way forward. The traders have also vowed to resist any attempt by the government to force them out of their business places when no alternative provision has been made for them. Go to bed, go to bed.